Australian standard 4177 calls for height restrictions on 50 mm ball couplings. The height of the centre of the ball in the laden condition should be between 350 or 460 from the ground. In this case, we're just under 600 mil, a long way from 460 where we need to be. One of the other problems with 50 mm ball couplings is the limited articulation. This coupling is limited down here, in the upwards direction it's limited there, and then when horizontal, in the roll direction, it's limited here and here. So for larger caravans and off-road vans, this 460 mm ball restriction is a real problem. If this ball was at regulation height, it would place this coupling at an angled position, putting it at risk of popping off or damaging the vehicle. Here we have the DO35 Topin. As you can see, it's sitting roughly at the same height. But because this is not a 50 mil ball, the height restrictions don't apply. In fact, this could be at any height. The articulation of the DR35 is far superior to that of the 50 mil tow ball. Weight distribution bars have become really popular, especially on large caravans. These things act a bit like a wheelbarrow in that they're a long lever that you pull up on the back with and that transfers load from the rear of the vehicle to the front. What a lot of people don't realise though is how much additional load these weight distribution bars place on the coupling. And we've set up a little experiment here today with a load cell under the topin and a display here. And we're going to crank up these bars and just show you what's going on here. So we've connected the weight distribution bars, connected the chains up here, and the load under the topin has gone up from 185 kilograms to 510. That's put a lot of additional pressure on the coupling. Now if you go off-road, these weight distribution hitches need to be disconnected. And I'll tell you why. As you're traveling down the road, you hit a washout, a dip, or a water course, and the angle between the vehicle and the trailer increase, the tension in the chains will increase, and the load on the coupling will go up significantly. The new DO35 Mark III has been designed taking these extra loads into account, making it possibly the strongest coupling in its class on the market. 